write a Vlogbrothers video in the style of the King James Bible about whether AI can write novels. Greetings, fellow Vlogbrothers and sisters. Today I wish to speak to thee about a topic that has been on my mind of late, whether AI or artificial intelligence can write novels. First, let us consider what AI is. AI is the ability of a computer or machine to mimic intelligent human behavior. It can understand language, make decisions, and even create art or music. But can AI truly write a novel? To this I say it depends on how we define novel. If a novel is simply a lengthy work of fiction, then it is possible that AI could generate enough text to meet this definition. However, a novel is so much more than a collection of words on a page. A novel is a story, a journey, a tapestry of words woven together to create something greater than the sum of its parts. Can AI truly capture these elements in its writing? I say nay. While AI may be able to generate text that is similar to human writing, it cannot truly understand the complete complexities and nuances of the human experience. It cannot capture the unique perspective and voice of a human writer. It cannot create something truly original and engaging the way a human can. In short, while AI may be able to generate text that resembles a novel, it cannot truly write a novel in the same way a human can. The art of writing is a uniquely human endeavor, and it will always be so. Until next time, may thee be blessed with the wisdom of the ages and the power of the written word. And as always, don't forget to be awesome. All right, good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. So that script was written by ChatGPT and Artificial Intelligence. And I have to say, it's not the worst Vlogbrothers video I've ever come across. They even knew about DFTBA. That noted, I, uh, I, I, I do have some concerns. First off, I am super freaked out by that AI's attempt to reassure humans like, oh, don't worry, you're super unique. Unique is one of the only words it used twice. Oh, no, we could never write a novel. You don't need to worry about that, you cute little meat person. Like, I find that genuinely scarier than if it had been like, yeah, of course I'm gonna write the novels of the future, you idiot. Also, it's interesting that it relies so much on cliché, like phrases like window into the soul or tapestry of words. I think it's doing that because they're somewhat evocative, but also common enough that it isn't plagiarism. But I think this gets at something important about how AI will construct language. Like, in order to become more specific and textured and compelling, AI will need to rely less on cliché and use more unusual sentence structures, and of course the easiest way to do that is to plagiarize or to otherwise rely on particular human brains. Now, of course, when I'm writing a novel, I am also deeply dependent upon all the linguistic constructions and narratives that I've come across. I am also working from a data set, all writers are. But I also think we have fairly sophisticated strategies for deciding what plagiarism is among humans, and maybe we don't so much for AI. Also, I'm freaked out that this technology means that we are already having vitriolic arguments on Twitter and other sites with people who are uh, not actually people. But I'm not even sure that's my biggest worry. I think my biggest worry might be, uh consciousness? Like, computers are amazing, but they are nothing like us. We are far, far more like kangaroos than we are like computers. And I worry that as AI improves, we may begin to see human consciousness and cognition as more digital phenomena than organic ones, which I think would be a big mistake. Like, I think to be happy and also to create the kind of word tapestries that ChatGPT tells me are uniquely human, we need to live as organisms on a planet with other organisms. I am not not that worried about attempts to make technology more similar to us, but I am very, very worried about attempts to make us more like technology. Hank, I'll see you on Friday. They didn't know about that one.